Obedience is strength. When you are lacking in resolve, remember that. Yes? You have clearance to be here? I'm here to recalibrate the virus containment unit. That's why I'm here. You must have made a mistake with your rota. I bet you're right. I'll go check. I better not... I better not go back in there again. I don't want to raise suspicion. Whoa, I know this. This is the place Cardero built back in Greystone. Hey! Welcome to Aquila's induction program. This is the final step on your journey to self-actualization. Please sit in the chair. I don't think so. I don't know if I want to sit in that. What was it Cardero said his sculpture represented? The Room of Indoctrination. Welcome to Aquila's induction program. Please sit in the chair. I'd rather not. Jeez! Ah! What the hell? Please sit in the chair. I hope I don't regret this. Welcome to induction. Ah! Ah! Let me go! Welcome to induction. Let me out! My head's gonna explode! What is the first truth? I don't know! Let me out! What is the second truth? Just... try to breathe, Harper. Induction session extended. What is the third truth? Breathe in, breathe out. Induction session extended. What is the fourth truth? Toes, feet, legs, arms. Induction session extended. What is the fifth truth? Home, mom. Whoa, I just need a little time alone to think. The ape. Climbs to the apex. What? The salamander eats its brother. Buddy, that's not helping at all. The worker act carries four times its weight. Cardero, focus. I, I need to get out of here. The eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle! Please, Cardero. Take out and shoot the three legged mare. Oh, jeez. What is the first truth? Need to think. The ape climbs to the apex. The worker act carries four times its weight. The eagle, the eagle, the e Take out and shoot the three-legged mare. The salamander eats its brother. <sighs> What is the first truth? Man is a predator. What is the second truth? Blood is cold. What is the third truth? Weakness is death. What is the fourth truth? Obedience is strength. What is the fifth truth? Aquilo rising. Hello? Hello? C can I go now? Rupert was right. 
There's more to you than meets the eye, Mr. Pendrel. I've never known a subject so resistant to induction. Why, it's as if you had no brain to wash. His girlfriend must be here somewhere. Dispose of her. Mom. No, stop! I know you. You're that politician, Thurlow. Senator Thurlow, if you don't mind. Although round here, folks call me votary. You attacked Yelltown! I ran a field experiment. The aim was to test prototype treatments for VHOV. I admit there were unforeseen incidents. Silverdale's attempt at sabotage forced us to start a little early. But it brought you here to me, so everything worked out peachy. What do you want from me? Well, it ain't your good looks. Rupert tells me you're resistant to VHOV. That makes you very special indeed. I'm going to extract a teensy sample of your bone marrow and use it to produce a vaccine. In med school, I always lost marks for bedside manner. Can you believe that? Now try to relax, because this is gonna hurt like hell. Why do you want the vaccine? There'll be time for all that after I take the sample. Or maybe not. I don't really care. Hold still. No! What a brave boy. Try not to bleed out now, you hear? Uh, <sighs> Harper! You found her, Rupert. Good job. Professor, how... <sighs> how could you? It's so nice that we're all getting to know each other at last, but I've got my vaccine and a plane to catch, so... Kill the girl. Wait! Won't you at least tell us why you've done all this? <laughs> How charmingly gauche. Pendril, now you're supposed to say, you'll never get away with this. You will never. <laughs> Not a great line, Reading. If you want to know why, Rupert can tell you. You first told me the idea when we were students. I don't think I believed you could really do it until Yelltown. The plan was to conjure up the fear of a worldwide pandemic, then cure it. Play the hero. Sylvia becomes the head of the Global Health Initiative, with all the power that entails. And then... And then lather, rinse, repeat. A world without sickness is possible, and I can't let that happen. From the big grand coolie dam to the H-bomb, we have put science to work for us. Why not disease, too? What about the innocent people who die? In Yelltown? Greystone? Set dressing. You're a murderer, Thurlow. I'm a politician. That means making the hard choices. If a politician offers people hope, she'll only end up disappointing them. But if I give people something to fear, offer them safety, order, keep the good people healthy, the bad people sick, well then, folk will sell their own skins just to huddle under my wing. Why are you helping her, Professor? Was this your plan all along? No, I swear it. It isn't easy to betray someone you love. I'm sorry. Sorry? Is that supposed to make... Looks like the milk of human kindness has finally turned sour. I've heard enough. You and me both. I got what I came for. Rupert, sedate the boy. And shoot that snooping gutter rat. No! Professor! 
Professor? McBride to Devlin. Halliwell is in incubation. You bastard! Keep her there. We have Pendrel too. I'm on my way. Why did you have to come here? To rescue you! But that was before we knew you were two-timing us for some old flame. No! It's not as simple as that. It's exactly as simple as that. You're working for them. Damn and blast! I, I should have told Harper everything. Then tell me everything. Why are you doing this? Devlin will be here soon. Have you been brainwashed like the yellow suit guys? No! I thought I was protecting you and Harper by coming here without a fight. And then I saw her again, Sylvia Thurlow. She's the votary. As in Senator Sylvia Thurlow? Ms. Global Health Initiative? What a scoop. I mean, that's insane. I know. I know. How can you work for Thurlow after what she did to Yelltown? What she's done, it can't change the way I feel about her. It's in my bones. It's like falling back into an old habit. I didn't plan this, but I'm not strong enough to fight Sylvia. If I help her find a vaccine, at least there will be a vaccine. You've got to fight, Professor. Harper needs... Cornered her, Rupert. Good work. Is the boy with Sylvia? Aye, aye. She's prepping him for surgery. Come out, come out, Miss Hallowell. Oh, nearly. Professor, help! That won't help, darling. Smart guys like Rupert always join the winning team. Screw you, Devlin! I don't believe we've been properly introduced. I recognized you from Harper's description of your eyebrows. <laughs> You're funny for someone who isn't holding a loaded firearm. I got something better than a gun. Why don't I believe you? I guess you're just not a trusting person. Were you bullied as a child? The other kids were. I demand to see Senator Thurlow. No. Devlin! I need to talk to Thurlow now. I'm sorry. The Senator is busy at the moment. Please leave a message. Devlin! Don't come any closer. I'll destroy the virus. Oh yeah? How? By raising the temperature in there to boiling point. Can she do that, Rip? I, I don't know. If she's gained access to the... I mean, if she's rerouted the... It's possible. Stay away from that switch. Devlin! Don't come any close... I'll just... Oh, yeah. raise... Can she do that? Christ! Lock him in, Professor! The panel, now! Thank God. I don't think you need to get out of here. No. Devlin said Harper was with her. Take me to them. It's too dangerous. I can't believe you called Harper a coward. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't. I just have to follow this story to the end.
I've heard enough. You and me both. I got what I came for. Rupert, sedate the boy. And shoot that snooping gutter rat. No! It's okay, Harper. I'm okay. No! No, stay away from me! You're right. We can't trust him. He almost betrayed me to Devlin, but he didn't have the guts to go through with it. Harper, I'm... But I did it! I turned up the heat on the virus, Doc. But you let her... get away. Something's wrong. The boiler. The climate controls are malfunctioning. The superstructure may not be able to handle such a drastic change in... What's happening? We need to get out of here. Get the gurney through there. Can you walk, Harper? No one leaves. Hello, hello. You. Drop the gun, Devlin. It's finished. Aye, aye. Just need to tidy up. How did you escape? Something about unquenchable human spirit. Barrett, brought in hell. No! <laughs> Professor! <coughs> <coughs> Professor, are, are you okay? N not great, actually. <laughs> Don't worry, Professor. We'll get you out of here somehow. What a terrible mess. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Professor... I have to tell you. I forgive you. I mean, I'm real mad at you. You were an idiot, but I want to forgive you. Is it Harper there? Yes, it's me, Professor. Such a fine boy. You must bring your mother around to dinner sometime. I, I will, Professor. Professor? We made it. Everything's gonna be okay. LOL. You were right. This was a pretty dumb idea. Yeah, but it was the right thing to do, I guess. Come on, Harper. We gotta go home. How do we get down? It is with great relief that I can announce a breakthrough in the treatment of the Yelltown virus. Following a series of successful trials, a new vaccine will be made available in the affected areas. Our doctors will be able to save countless lives and in time arrest the spread of the disease. This is a testament to the tireless work of RHC and all our health professionals, but it is also a warning. We must establish a global health initiative to coordinate our response to emerging health threats like this. We must take action. We owe it to the people whose lives have been claimed in this tragedy. Senator Thurlow speaking at a press conference earlier this week. However, a covert recording purporting to be of the senator strikes a very different tone. A world without sickness is possible, and I can't let that happen. From the big grand coolie dam to the H-bomb, we have put science to work for us.
Why not disease, too? What about the innocent people who die? In Yelltown? Greystone? Set dressing. The other voice you heard was Jane Hallowell, who posted the recording on the Port Nicola Times blog today. Hallowell's piece made a series of explosive allegations. <laughs> Where is she, Duke? And where is she? Well, Senator Thurlow has not issued a statement or appeared in public since the tape emerged. A spokesperson for the House Committee on Health Care condemned the- Oh my god! Can't you see how huge this is? This is so huge! How does it feel to be a national hero? Well, you're the national hero. I'm just some patient zero nobody's ever heard of. Then how does it feel to be in a national hero's apartment? Pretty amazing. I know, right? I can't believe we did it. I know, right? To think that a brilliant megalomaniac could be defeated by a brave but educationally subnormal handyman. Yeah, pretty scary, huh? What are you doing with your face? Um... Just felt like kind of a kiss moment? Nope, different kind of moment. Okay. Yes. Good.